Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Bistal 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the Graphical Message Flow Viewer. The Graphical Message Flow Viewer was created so that you can better understand how messages flow through the system. This is a different way to look at tracking information and messages exchanged between service instances. To access the Graphical Message Flow Viewer, we need to go into the tracking queries. We can run a tracking query to see service instances or messages that are available in the system. We can activate the Graphical Message Flow Viewer by clicking on the column of the service name in any result of a tracking query. I'm going to click on one of these instances to show you that there is a new tab that opens what we can see from here is information about this service instance. So we can see that this was an XML receive pipeline that is associated with this port called RP underscore customer order. And we can see a few additional information like execution time, duration, etc. What we can now also do is discover which service instances were executed after this message was published to the message box. So if you have any green bubble on the receive port, you can click to expand and see what subscribed to it. So now instead of just seeing this receive port execution, we can now also see the send port execution that was related and that followed this receive port. In this case, this is a very simple scenario where a message is received and it's subscribed by a send port and sent out of the system. You can also notice that when we click on one of these bubbles, this is a messaging event, we can see the information associated with it. We can see where the file comes from, which port it was associated with, and a few other details. If we click on the service instance, we can also see the artifact that is associated with it. And if we want, we can go and see the properties associated with the artifact. In this case, this is a receive port, and we are seeing the property screen for the receive ports. I can also see the send port by clicking on the service instance related to the send port, and then clicking on the identified send port associated with this service instance. So let's see another example. And in this case, I started to look at tracking information starting from an orchestration. And I can see there are two messaging events, one of a message arriving to the orchestration and then one of a message sent out of the orchestration. So if I click on any of these points, it will expand to find the tracking information related to it. And now, after expanding this point, we can see the end-to-end -end life of the message inside the system. So it started on a receive port, which executed a pipeline, an XML receive pipeline, and the message was then published to the message box, which activated an orchestration. The orchestration executed, then and sent a message out of the orchestration, and finally, Bistalk sent a message out of the system through the send port, and then finalized. Let's take a look at a few other examples to see how complex message flow can be easily understood. In this case, I already expanded all the points and we can see here this is a request response port that executes through an orchestration that consumes another service that is a solicit response port and then feeds that message back to the original caller. You can notice that the request response ports are represented by two messaging events within one box. We can also have more complex scenarios with multiple orchestrations communicating between each other. And in this case, we can see a message being received on a one-way receive port, being subscribed by an orchestration which communicates with another orchestration, which then enriches a message through a request response port, and then combines the results and sends the message through another orchestration out of Bistalk. And in another example, this we have a messaging event that results in a failed message. And the failed messages are also represented in a visual way so that this instance got suspended. We can see the error information related to this message in this box. And so we can better understand why was the message not fully processed. 
Let's look at another example. In this case, this was a receive port that correctly executed and subscribed to a send port that tried to send a message out of the system but that has multiple retries activated. And we can see each of these messaging events saying that we tried to do transmit and it failed and it was retried. And we see that we have multiple retries and then in the end the retry count expired and so it finally failed and the message got suspended. So you can understand what was Bistock doing during this time and have a good understanding of, of the lifetime of the message within the system. Let's look at another example. In this case we have a receive port that split the original message into multiple sub orchestrations which the results were then gathered by another orchestration that compiles the result in a single message and sends it out of Bistock. Here now we have another example. In this case we have a receive port that is called flat file dpatcher and what it does is it receives a flat file message which is transformed to XML and split into multiple messages. Then these multiple messages are, are sent to the message box which then subscribes the messages to send ports and send them out of Bistock. In this case, we also activated message body tracking. And what this allows us in this case is that we can see the actual message transforming through the message flow and that we get a good understanding of what is going where. If we click on the original message, we can see here the context and more important, the content of the message. We can see this is a flat file message. And then after the pipeline executed resulted in multiple messages that are split of that flat file but transformed it into XML. So we can see here this employer one and we can see in this one the employer two, etc. And each of these messages is then sent to the message box and subscribed by a send port instance. In this case we can see the send port instance was the employer one and it was finally sent out of the system. Having message body tracking available in the graphical message flow allows you to better understand how is the message transforming across the life cycle in BizTalk. And this is all from the graphical message flow viewer.